Hello, this is Sandout here. In 1993, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers aired for the first time on television. Twenty years later, twenty seasons later, we have a DVD set encompassing all of it. Today I'll be taking a look at the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, the first 20 years from Shout Factory. This is a DVD set including all 767 Power Rangers episodes, bonus features, documentaries, interviews, specials, serials, promos, pilot episodes, lost episodes, Christmas specials, Halloween specials. Everything is included in one DVD box set that is in the shape of a Red Ranger helmet. Specifically, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmet. Because any other Ranger would not be fitting. This is the most iconic Power Ranger of all time. He's the first Power Ranger of all time. Now, before we start, uh, I'm not doing this in my normal uh, white backdrop set for two reasons. One, when I tried, this happened. Do you feel crowded yet? I feel crowded. I don't know what I'm doing in this set. So I decided to just do it on my desk, which required moving all the action figures I normally keep on here. But I did leave some, as I felt like 20 years we should have the original Megazord uh, with a couple of its rangers, and the newest Megazord with a couple of its rangers. Uh, yeah, I know, I really wished the Legacy Dragonzord was out so I could have that Mega Dragon sword form so that it worked better and have a Green Ranger figure art, but I only got red and pink, and there's never been a Mega Force Red figure art, so Super Mega Force Red's going to have to do for now, and I just like that combination because that gives me a chance to display Robo Knight. Robo Knight's awesome. But the main focus of this will be this DVD set. Uh, they're there for backdrop and also to, kind of to book in things because there was a lot of gaps. But this is the only way I am able to show you this set without making it a mess because the last take of this review in the review set was a mess. So, that being said, without further ado, let's get started. First off, this is coming from Shout Factory. Shout Factory in the past has put out some of the most amazing DVD sets I've ever seen, like Reboot, the definitive mainframe edition. One of the most uh, one of my favorite shows from the 90s had the nicest DVD release from Shout Factory. Also, the Transformers franchise has gotten quite a lot of love from Shout Factory. The Transformers Matrix of Leadership Complete Series Edition, which I reviewed on my channel back in 2009, is still one of my favorite DVD box sets of all time. And the fact that they were able to make Transformers the Japanese Collection possible, I still see as a miracle. Uh, bringing over three Japanese exclusive Transformers series subtitling them and releasing them in a box set collection like this for less than $100 was fantastic. And I would highly recommend all of these sets uh, for any of these series that you may like. But most of you out there are probably Power Rangers fans watching this video. So you're saying, is this $650 limited to 2,000 unit DVD set worth it? To me, it is. That is why I paid for it. I had the money, and also... I wanted all of Power Rangers in one collection. <laughs> and as of right now, and until Super Mega Force premieres, this is every aired episode of Power Rangers is in this helmet right now. And that is an incredible feeling, uh, because this is so cool. Now, if you may recall, if you follow the Power Rangers fandom, you know that Chef Factory has been releasing the seasons individually, and Mega Sets as well. And those are still continuing. I mean, the season 13, seasons 13 through 17... Uh, DVD says coming out, I believe, in March or April of this year. And seasons 1 through 12 have been released in three sets. One Mighty Morphin Complete Series, one seasons uh, 4 through 7, one seasons 8 through 12. Uh, which are available on Amazon and uh, Shout Factory's website, shoutfactory.com. But this set is only through PowerRangersLegacyCollection.com, through Shout Factory. It's only 2,000 units. Now what this includes that the Mega Sets do not is Power Rangers Samurai, Super Samurai, and Mega Force produced by Shout Factory, so it has the Shout Factory style menus uh, and bonus features. And there's one extra bonus feature disc that is not included anywhere else. 
And then it also comes in a giant Red Ranger helmet. So you can take your pick. Now, uh, normally, like uh, why I say by Shout Factory exclusive is that Lionsgate uh, usually is the people with the license to Power Rangers, Samurai, Super Samurai, and Megaforce. They have released a Power Rangers Samurai complete season set on Amazon's ma manufactured on demand service. Um, and they've released a Power Rangers Super Samurai set on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, they're working on Megaforce right now, currently in volume sets, uh, which there's five, I believe, five volumes for each season, and they've done that for Samurai and Super Samurai. So between Shout Factory and Lionsgate, you can get all the episodes. But this is the most comprehensive set, and I, I want to thank Lionsgate for letting Shout Factory include those last three seasons in this set, because without those in this set, it wouldn't have been as complete. Now, to preface some things, Two things that aren't included in this set are Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie and Turbo Power Rangers the movie. Fox still owns the rights to these movies, and so whatever reason uh, they couldn't be included, I don't blame Shout Factory. A lot of people have these movies. They've been released several times. This is the newest release. They're $6.99 each at Target, where I got mine. And putting those in this set completed. And we'll get to that when I mean putting them into the set. Before we take a look at the actual set, uh, I want to do highlight something that Shadow Factory did that I thought was one of the coolest things I have ever seen from a company. Uh, this set was originally designed to be uh, shipping on December 3rd, 2013. Unfortunately, the Red Ranger helmets took longer to produce than expected, and so for everyone that had pre-ordered the set, they sent us four lithographs, which just dropped the white balance on my camera. I'm going to restore it there. These four lithographs are the artwork from the Power Rangers uh, mega sets, which uh, aren't the artwork are nowhere in the set itself. So these were really nice to have. And there's only a thousand of these lithographs, while there's two thousands of the sets. And they gave a, and they sent this to me on December sixteenth. Um, so you can see, first up, we have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, complete series box set lithograph. You can see the five Rangers there and the White Ranger on the top. Very very nice. Uh, they came in a poster tube, so they are well protected. Uh, came through USPS, I believe, um, if I recall correctly. And it was a nice bonus that I don't mind if you're going to delay something a month. <laughs> when you send lithographs that are beautiful, this is the season 4 through 7 sets. It's got Zeo Turbo in space and Lost Galaxy, along with some several images there. Um, this is really cool. It was no additional charge to anyone who had pre-ordered the set, and I believe some of the uh, new pre-orders from December 2nd onward, whoever was in the first thousand sets got these lithographs. Um, so you can see there it's got uh, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, and Dino Thunder. And you can see the uh, forever part of the Forever Red Rangers down at the bottom. So that's the 8 through 12 set. And here you can take a look at the cover art for the Season 13 through 17 set, which has not been released yet, uh, so this is really cool. You got the five Rangers, SPD, Mystic Force, Overdrive, Jungle Fury, and RPM, Power Rangers, and then all these other Rangers that aren't red. That's really cool. So, thank you so much, Shout Factory. I will be framing these lithographs uh, soon, and they will be going up on my wall. I love them. I I am so glad that they that that, that you guys did that. I really appreciate it. Um, Shout Factory is the only company I know of when they delay something. They give you a free bonus like that. Um, also, it's a $650 DVD set, so they could afford to do it. Now, taking a look at this set, this has been one of the most interesting projects to watch. Uh, it started all back at San Diego Comic-Con in July of 2013, where we saw the first prototype in the announcement from Brian Ward and uh, Black Nerd Comedy, which, it, when I saw this, the video of this, I was like, is this actually happening? Like, I believed it. But my brain wasn't quite registering that there was going to be a 20-season Power Rangers DVD set. Like, this is some of the thing I wrote a fan fiction about. Like, they should make a whole set of uh, Power Rangers DVDs in one thing. I never thought it was actually going to happen. But then it did, and now I own it, and that's just an incredible ride. Uh, it's It's been really fun. I've been enjoying following Shout Factory. And my only complaint with this whole set, and this is so freaking minor that I can't even call it a real complaint, is that FedEx is terrible in my area. Uh, it took so long for this to get here uh, from from Shout Factory that I probably could have driven to Shout Factory directly, picked it up, driven home in less time than 
FedEx took to deliver it. Uh, but whatever the case is, I do have it, so it did arrive in great condition, and it was well packed. And speaking of being packed, the helmet was packed separately from the DVDs. If you have not ever seen this before, the DVDs are loaded in the back here. Uh, so the DVDs and the booklet, which you can't see in the frame yet, the booklet, uh, were in a separate part of the box from the helmet. So the helmet was well protected. Uh, I did like that shipping idea. It's wonderful. So you can see here, the visor is well replicated. This is not a two-scale helmet. This is slightly larger than it should be. Uh, but I'm not going to complain. It's not something I'd plan to wear. And if I do want a Mighty Morphin Red Ranger helmet, there's plenty of fans who have made custom helmets out there. But you can see the paintwork is really well done. These are hand-painted sets. So very little paint mistakes, too. Uh, you can see it's a little rough at the silver to red uh, detail here, but overall, I don't know exactly what material this is, but this feels really nice. I know that's weird that I'm just rubbing my hand on a Red Ranger helmet, but it, it feels really nice. Uh, the paint shines perfectly. You can see all the detail has been replicated for the helmet. Uh, it is fantastic. I love this look. I especially love the back, because you, you just keep turning, and then you get to the DVDs. So this is where the actual DVDs are stored. As you can see on the bottom here, you have a booklet. This booklet slides out. This is the Power Rangers Legacy first 20 seasons uh, booklet. Now this has everything you'd like to know. Uh, it starts off with a nice picture of the Red Rangers. Uh, it has a message from Heim Saban. And then you get into episode guides. Uh, it tells you basically where every episode is uh, on each disc. You have some promotional images. What's really cool is that when you get to the end of the Mighty Morphin, or you get to the Mighty Morphin section, you'll notice Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie not included, but it gives you a description and a little fun fact about the movie. Adding this in just is another touch. It's it, They know that whoever's buying this set, if they don't already have the movies, they're going to get the movies. Um, and... I, I really do appreciate it. And these images are great, because you got Goldar there. The Alien Rangers have their own disc in the set, which is wonderful. But the thing I noticed that was really cool is that they have the Power Rangers official fan club uh, autograph pictures, a official certification of the Junior Power Rangers Club, a Universal Studios Hollywood uh, ticket, some trading cards that were released, sticker books, dot to dots, just some Power Rangers merchandise that was... It proves how big of a success it was back in the 90s. But I love how it has Lord Zed's Monster Heads, Alpha's Magical Christmas, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers live show, stuff I've never seen before. Um, the Lost Episode, which is the pilot, the Zeo serial, I watched that earlier today. I wanted to see that. And a very special thanks to everyone here on the DVD credits. You made this set possible. So we're going to tick the camera up a little bit. Uh, where you start seeing my DC figure collection. This is a Power Rangers video. We need to get that out of the frame. So, as you can see, or, or kind of see, because I know there's a little bit of glare. Let's just try to move the glare. Uh, better yet, I'll just move these. Um, so, you can see that we have each of these is a power coin. And so, you have Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus, Dragonzord, Tigerzord, Ape, Red Aquatar Ranger, and 20th Anniversary. These are really cool. I'm going to get into these so you guys can see this. Uh, last thing I want to point out on the back of the, the, the actual helmet, it says Power Rangers Legacy like the first 20 seasons, and it gives you a number. Mine is number 295 of, of 2,000. I really like that number because I like fives. Five is my favorite number. So we're going to start off uh, with each of these. Now, what these are is these are, if I can get it out, these are Power Coin tins. These are actual tin, they're metal, like a steel book container. Inside is each disc, and each tin has ten discs. And what's cool is that on the back it tells you what's on each, what's in each tin. That is very helpful uh, when navigating this set. What's even better, these are tins so they can scratch. Uh, these are a little scratch from shipment, but nothing too major on any of these. But these are felt, felt padded uh, shelves. So everything where these slide into are not going to get scratched. Uh, the only thing that'll scratch them is if you're dropping them, rubbing them together, yada yada, that'll scratch them. But other than that, you're not going to have any scratches. Uh, it's a pretty good preventive measure. As you can see here, this is the Mastodon Power Coin, and that is throwing my light balance off. That is, that is, look at that. 
All right, I'm not going to play with that too long. But you can see it's number one Mastodon. This includes Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, Disc 1 through 6, and Season 2, Disc 1 through 4. Uh, you can take a look inside. This is what all the Mighty Morphin Discs look like. They say this, and Season 1, Disc 1, 20 years. So then every disc will be Season 1, Disc 2, Season 1, Disc 3, yada, yada, Season 2, all that. That's what the Mighty Morphin Discs look like. And those are great. Uh, so take a look at the Pterodactyl next. You see the pterodactyl looks fantastic. It's the pterodactyl power coin. That Pink Ranger figure right back there is happy about that. Number two, pterodactyl. Learn your Roman numerals if you don't know them now. So you got Mighty Morphin Season 2, 5 through 6, Mighty Morphin Season 3, 1 through 4, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, and Power Rangers Zeo Discs 1 through 2. Also in this set, you get a little standby place for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie in the continuity place. So if you see disc 5, disc 6 of season 2, there's the movie where it should be right before season 3. Um, you notice I have, that was my fault, I dropped the pterodactyl coin. <laughs> uh, but you see got season 3. The thing I do want to show off, uh, because it is just awesome, that there is an Alien Rangers disc. There's an Alien Rangers disc. No season na number, but whatever. And then you can see the Zeo disc. I'm going to show off one disc from each series uh, or season. But yeah, this was in the place of, uh, it was like that when I when I got it. And so I went ahead and put in the movie, because that's where it's going to stay, and I don't know where I'm going to put those uh, those other DVD cases uh, for the two movies. They're just going to they're just gonna disappear somewhere, and I'll find them in a few years and laugh. So, pull it out. Next up, we have the Triceratops, number three, uh, Roman numeral three. Again, nothing should be scratched because of the case. It is all your fault if they're scratched. Power Rangers Zeo, 3 through 5, Turbo, 1 through 5, in space 1. So I'll just show you the Turbo disc. Um, oh, also, Turbo Power Rangers movie has a spot in here. Uh, so it goes Zeo 5, 6, or Zeo 5, and then Turbo Power Rangers movie, then Turbo season 5. So really cool. Uh, I do like the season number on the disc, so that just kind of tells you how far you're in the series when you watch this in order. Number four, the Saber 2 Tiger. Always love the design of this coin. And on the back, In Space 2 through 5, Lost Galaxy 1 through 5, Light Speed 1. So there's the In Space disc. Uh, let's see if I can get them to come out. The Lost Galaxy disc there. And then we'll get to, to the Light Speed on the next one, which is number five, the Tyrannosaurus. And what's awesome is that they're in the roll call order. So Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops. Sabertooth Tiger and Tyrannosaurus, uh, which is very cool. Number five, Tyrannosaurus. Light Speed 2 through 5, Time Force 1 through 5, Wild Force 1. So you got Light Speed, Rescue, Speed Rescue here, and Time Force Season 9. So very cool. Next up, number six is the Dragon Zord, good old Tommy. Really cool, Dragon Zord. On the back, Wild Force 2 through 5, Ninja Storm 1 through 5, Dino Thunder 1. So you got Wild Force. You got the discs do like to get stuck a little bit. There's Ninja Storm. You got Ninja Storm. So very cool. I just do want to show off the disc art. It will be different if you're buying the individual uh, mega sets. White Tiger Zord is the next one, so it's just Tiger Zord number seven. Really cool. I like that. Dino Thunder two through five, SPD one through five, Mystic Force one. It's funny because both the Tommy coins have a Dino Thunder disc in them, at least one. So you got Dino Thunder uh, and then SPD. We'll get to mix Mystic Force next. Number number eight has a slight printing error on mine. It says eight. It has the eight, but it's just a little high. But you can see it's the ape coin from the Ninja season and the movie. And it looks like that's crooked too. Uh, yeah, this one had a little bit of printing issue. Mystic Force two through four. Overdrive one through four. Jungle Fury one to three. Uh, Mystic Force is the disc there, and Overdrive. We'll get to Jungle Fury in the next one. And this is the one that really surprised me and just shows you how much of a fan collection this is. Number nine, Red Aquatar Ranger. He had a power coin. He did in Japan. The Doron Changer coin for the red, for Ninja Red is used on this. Fantastic. I love this. Jungle Fury 4, RPM 1 through 4, Samurai 1 through 2, Super Samurai 1 through 3. It's got a lot of seasons in this one. So you got Jungle Fury, and then you got RPM, and then. Samurai, then I noticed that this sleeve here did get a little bent uh, when loaded. 
and then Super Samurai there. So really cool uh, how that works. And the last one is number 10, the 20th anniversary, which is Power Rangers 20, new coin design too. Love if they made this in the Legacy Morpher coin line. And it says Megaforce and the bonus discs. So you get Megaforce there. And the bonus disc, which all have RPM Black's helmet on it. No idea why. But six bonus discs. So very, very cool. I love the uh, helmet. Um, I can actually pick up the helmet now that there's nothing in it. But you notice there is these nice padded uh, pads to the bottom of the set that just make it really nice to put on a shelf. And the great thing is, is if you want to put like the helmet in a display case, you can have the disc separate. I mean, they're in these tins. They won't be as nicely protected, but they're here. You can just have a tin. And I feel like as I'm going to watch the show, I'll have whatever tin I'm currently watching will be the tin that's sitting out, and I'll have the collection on a shelf. I don't know where yet, though, but it may just stay on my desk for a while. So overall, this is a fantastic DVD set. Probably just going to say it. It is my favorite DVD set that I own currently. I have a lot of good DVD sets. I... You know, Kamen Rider V3 from uh, Generation Kikaider is another amazing DVD set. But just how much is in this set, um, it's a limited set. Everything's here. This is the ultimate DVD collection for a Power Rangers fan. And I can understand if you're a big Power Rangers fan but can't afford this set. It is a large sum of money that has to be dropped all at once. Uh, can't be bought in, uh, in, in season sets. So, that being said... If you like Power Rangers, if you love Power Rangers, and you want to own it on DVD, and you can't, you, you don't want to buy the Legacy Collection, or you don't have the money to, by all means, pick up the Mega Sets or the Season Sets. They're uh, they're doing individual volumes uh, Season Sets at retail, and I've seen those at Target for about ten bucks a piece. So support Shout Factory; they do incredible work. I have never had a bad release from this company, and I've had bad releases from Bandai and Hasbro and Takara, and Bandai of America. I've had bad things from every company I know of, except for Shout Factory. They are the one company in the world that has not had a bad release. And that is, that is very, very, very commendable. So I look forward to what Shout Factory is going to do next. Now that they've finished probably their largest DVD set ever made, it's the largest one I know of. I don't know of anything that has 98 discs. Well, now it has 100 because I added those movies. Um, but I'm looking forward to the next license that, that Shout Factory gets. I don't know what it'll be, but I'm sure it'll be fantastic as, like I said, everything they've done so far has been great. So anyways, stay tuned as there will be more Power Rangers videos on this channel. Be sure to check out HeroTaku.com, as we have a lot of Power Rangers news, columns, and reviews. Also check out Rajyo Nihon if you like Japanese music. We play tokusatsu songs from Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, uh, Garo, anything really that's tokusatsu related. And sometimes there's a few curveballs thrown in. I'm listening, I'm like, I've never heard this song before. Well, it's from a show you never watched before, sound out. Oh, well that makes sense. Also check out the podcast at Rajyo Nihon. They're great, and they're very informational and fun to listen to. Also, be sure to check out the HeroTaku.com forums where you can uh, sign up and discuss Power Rangers, the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, Shout Factory DVD releases, whatever you'd like. Come and sign up. Join us in our discussion. Also, check out ShoutFactory.com for everything Shout Factory does. Also, check out PowerRangersLegacyCollection.com if you want to get one of these for yourself. And thank you, everyone, that made this set. Thank you, everyone, watching this video. Anyways... Stay tuned for more videos here on Sound Out 12. Until next time, Sound Saying. Goodbye. So, Robo Knight, what do you think of the Power Rangers Legacy Collection? Okay, so his mission is to watch every episode of Power Rangers, so I'm going to join you in that mission, Robo Knight. Let's go.